Hi everybody, it's Miss Chapel from Music Care Please here. This is the second video in our video tutorials for upper strings, which is viola and violin, and today we're going to have a look at posture and how to correctly hold our instrument. Now this video is not only helpful for those that have just started playing instruments, but it's good for the more advanced students as well. As we practice and we're playing our instruments, it's very easy when we're concentrating to have tension in our shoulders and in our back, which can cause aches and pains, which we don't want. So this is a good one to look back at um, for those of you who are more advanced as well. First thing we're going to think about then is how we stand or sit during our practice. So if you are stood up, just make sure your feet are slightly apart, you are nice and balanced, and you're stood up nice and straight. If you choose to sit down to practice, check your feet are flat on the floor, your back remains straight and is away from the back of the chair so you're not slouching. So we're going to stretch out our bodies first of all, we're going to stretch out our fingers to begin with. Now this is a good one if you just started doing ball haul because we can get a little bit of tension in our hands when we first start doing that. And then rotate your wrists, stretch out those muscles, swing your arms down and then we're going to shrug our shoulders back a few times and roll them forwards a few times and drop them down. Now because most of the tension when we're playing violin or viola ends up in our shoulders, particularly our left shoulder, we're going to focus on those a little bit more. So I want you to shrug up your shoulders up to your ears and drop them down, feel nice and heavy and shrug them up and drop them down again and just try doing that a few times to get those shoulders into a nice neutral position. Then we're going to have a look at the weight in our body, the weight in our arms in particular. We're going to swing our arms just down by our side, feeling how heavy they are. Once you've got that real weight in your arms, we're going to bring it up into an air violin position. So we're going to swing up and drop. Do that one more time. So we're going to shake our arms out, swing up and drop into position. And while I'm here, if I just show you my shoulders low again, the elbow is in a neutral position, it's not pointing out to the back, it's not twisting round, which is nice and comfortable. My wrist is nice and straight and the hand is in a very comfortable natural position. So if we think about introducing our instrument onto that, your teacher will probably have introduced some steps to get your instrument onto your shoulder. So we need to bring the instrument onto our shoulder, remembering to keep it low. Bring the instrument in, rest it on your shoulder and bring your chin just over the chin rest. Check that that shoulder has not started to lift up at all. When our instrument's on our shoulder, you'll notice it's slightly out to the left and that the instrument is quite flat. What we don't want is an instrument pointing out to the front where it's not resting on our shoulder or an instrument which is tilting forward. Once you've got that position, just check that elbow is still nice and loose. And if you do the left hand work, Bring your left hand down and just swing that elbow, get it nice and loose again. Thinking about bringing our bow to our instrument then, first of all prepare your bow hole, we'll look at that in a bit more detail in a future video. Bring your bow onto the instrument, check it's in the right place and again feel that weight in both arms and we're just going to play some nice big open strings to get a nice clear sound. Once you've got that clear sound through all your bows, you can then try introducing the left hand, just very basic left hand, try and keep that clear sound throughout, feel the heaviness in both your arms. time when you're practicing you do feel any pain or any tension anywhere in your body it's important to stop shake it out try and work out where it is and what you can do to help to stop that so that was a bit on posture and playing position we're going to have a look at some further things in future videos so do keep practicing do keep watching out for our videos and i'll see you again soon